My, ain't it a gorgeous day? The first day of astronomical spring, they call it. Monday, March 20th. Woo -woo Beautiful day here in central Oklahoma. Just a little bit of a wind, not too bad. Can't beat that for March. Anyway, um, there was a question came up in a conversation watching a few movies the other day. And a lot of videos have covered this about can you be safe behind appliances. One person mentioned that some of the new TVs, even though they're thin, they're pretty damn tough. Well, uh, I just happen to have a TV <laughs> and uh, I don't know how tough it is. We're going to find out. We're going to shoot it with three or four or five different calibers. Going to start out with something small. I wish you had a 22, but it don't with me. We're going to start out with a little 380 ACP. Now, all of the pistol ammunition I'm shooting is defensive style hollow point ammunition. I'm not up here running full metal jacket trying to get all the penetration I can. I'm running ammunition that more than likely you're going to encounter in a gunfight. Good hollow point defensive stuff. And got this beautiful little black TV right here and uh, it don't work. <laughs> and when we're done, you can bet your bottom dollar that's something that's never going to work. So without further ado, let's start out with the small one first. See what kind of, uh, you know, holes, craters, or whatever we get now. I am at basically 21 feet. I'm close. I'm wearing hearing protection and eye protection. If I was shooting paper, I probably wouldn't worry about it. But this can throw shrapnel. So I'm going to take all the protecting precautions I can. All right, without further ado, uh, we're going to start out with that Beretta Model 84BB and 380 ACP. And we're shooting some SIG Elite 85 grain, holler point, flying ashtrays. Let's find out what these do. Rocked it. Gonna kinda work our way left to right. Now, we've got the Kimber target stainless 2 in 38 super we're running some 124 grain hornady action pistol now this is great defensive ammunition i'm sure but it's actually designed as competition ammunition so it's got a soft leg core got a nice little hollow point and a thin copper jacket I got this loaded up as a duty carry load, so instead of running 11 or 11.50 or 12, I'm running these about just under 1,400 feet per second. Let's find out what happens with that. Kind of close, but that's okay. Now, let's bring in something a little bigger. <laughs> we talked yesterday on that video I shot on that new little toy I got on that uh, CMS Pro 45 Colt from you, Birdie. Let's find out how this puppy points, how it does. I like that. You don't even have to aim this bad boy. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's pull the camera down, bring TV up here and take a look, see what we got. All righty then. Just as a reminder, 380 Auto, 38 Super, 
and 45 mixed 45 by themselves over here that's a 45 hole obviously that's 45 okay so yeah now let's take a look at the back side of this bad boy oh wow <laughs> huh okay let's get up here and get a little bit right up on top of it <laughs> look at there pardon the camera shake now this is kind of huh Wow, 38 Super, or I'm sorry, 380 ACP was fired right over here. In this line right here, no holes. 38 Super was fired here, some holes, and there's 45 AC or 45 Colt and 45 Colt, but I don't have near as bad of holes as I thought I was gonna have. That TV's pretty dang tough. Yeah, that's a 45. That was a 38 Super, that's a 45, and those are 45. Wow. So basically, one, two, three, four holes. And none of them look like they really got blasted out except this one. There's still particle in here, and that is fracture. That's got a hole. 45s, but this one right here, that's a pretty good hole. That's the 45, but. Whew. Well, you might be questioning, will he safe behind one of these little TVs with somebody shooting a 380 or 32 or 22 or, you know, maybe a 9 mil with hollow points. I'm sure hardball might get better penetration, but it does appear that 45 Colt will punch right through that bad boy. Wow. Let's hit it a couple more times just to see what happens. All right, we'll just punch a couple more with the 45 because it's a new toy and I like playing with it. See what kind of re reaction we get now. You know, I ain't all set for quick draw. I don't do that shit. <laughs> you, if you're gonna do quick draw, you better use blanks. I'm telling you, <laughs> you better use blanks. But we can do it kind of like old Bat and Wyatt used to say, you know, just get out there, do your thing, but take your time in a hurry. you will usually get the desired result. Even without aiming. <laughs> I love a wheel gun. Now as one might be able to fully adduce here, we look at the back of this. Several more shots and uh, we don't have any more holes but we saw the hits. Now over here, do have some slight bulging in the rear of it, but nothing came through, so it may very well be that that ammunition didn't hit anything that had any heavy duty structure it punched through, but other than that, when it encountered a whole lot of that circuitry and framing, that's pretty damn tough. Hmm, okay. Let's try something with a little more oomph and a little bigger bullet and a lot more speed. Be right back. Alrighty. Now, we got a little bit something, a little bit of something, something for it. Uh, a little bit faster. <laughs> 300 blackout, 
168 grainers. Now I've got that TV set at a 10, 15 degree angle to my left, just in case we get any splashback from a high velocity round. I want that stuff coming straight back at me. These are supersonic loads right here. See what supersonic does for this bad puppy. I'm betting we're probably going to get at least a couple of new holes. Make your bets now. Place your bets now, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh yeah. Now we're getting some penetration. It's a little hole there. Little hole below it. Little hole right there. Yep. Yep. Looks like a lot of your uh, defensive pistol ammunition might have a saving grace. But if you got something out of a bottleneck rifle cartridge rolling higher than 1500 feet per second that ain't gonna do you much good <laughs> I didn't think so yeah what the hell it's too fun <laughs> let's try just some straight defensive once again no fast draw just like that that's how we're gonna come out Gonna come out of the holster. Shoot that puppy. That's all we're gonna do. Just like that. No, sir. Can't have my wallet. Not today, anyway, because I don't feel like giving it to you. But if you want my wife's purse, well, that's gonna cost you something. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You don't gotta aim it. Point and shoot, baby. 